evening. I'm Justin Hendon. Thank you for joining us tonight. That'll make, sure that'll make a world of difference. There we go. Um, All right, count to five real quick. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Justin Hendon. Thank you for joining us. Week 10 in the world of college football. Good evening. What's that number? Two. Check, check one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Check one, two. Good evening. All right. Good evening. I'm Justin Hendon. Thank you for joining us. Week 10 in the world of college football. Let's get started right here at home in the SEC as the LSU Tigers came to town looking to snap a six-game losing streak to the Tide. Jalen Hurts settled in midway through the first quarter as he found Irv Smith Jr. in the end zone for the four-yard strike and a 7-0 lead. Ronnie Harrison would then pick off Danny Etling inside the Alabama Territory to set up a nine-yard scamper by Bo Scarborough to put the Tide up 14, before taking a 14-3 mark heading into the half. LSU would hold on to the ball longer as well as outgain the Alabama offense, but would struggle to finish drives as Jalen would call his own number in the second half and get into the end zone to push the lead to 18. LSU would break a long touchdown run late in the third to make things interesting, but Andy Papanastos added a 40-yarder in the fourth to preserve a two-touchdown lead. Alabama would walk out of Bryant-Denny with a 24-10 victory and a seven-game win streak against the Bengal Tigers. Elsewhere, number one Georgia took care of business at home as well against conference foe South Carolina. Jake Fromm would have a solid day passing, completing 16 of his 22 passes for 196 yards and two touchdowns. Georgia's bread and butter would also have a formidable outing as Nick Chubb and Sony Michelle combined for 183 yards on the ground and a score. Georgia travels to the plains of Auburn this weekend to take on a sneaky good 6-2 Auburn squad in the, South's deep, in the Deep South's oldest rivalry. Outside the SEC, two Big Ten contenders in Ohio State and Penn State found themselves suffering their second loss of the season. Iowa would win big at home over the Buckeyes, amassing over 500 yards of total offense and a three-interception day on defense as the Hawkeyes won handily 55-24. Meanwhile, Penn State looked to rebound from a loss last week with a road test against Mark D'Antonio and his Michigan State Spartans. After more than three hours of weather delay, the Spartans would steady the ship to be in position late in the fourth with a chance to kick the game winner. Matt Coughlin would split the uprights as time expired to send the Nittany Lions packing 27 to 24. Other notable games involved undefeated Wisconsin and undefeated Miami winning convincingly over conference opponents. Number four Clemson would also end Saturday on a high note as the defending champions found way to beat a resilient NC State team on the road in Raleigh. That's it for week 10 in the world of college football. I'm Justin Hendon. Thank you for watching and see you next time.